Hello everybody and welcome to Captain Mustard. Today, I'm going to show you how to run a generative image model locally on your PC with Python and Jupyter Notebook. You will not need a graphics card, we will use the CPU, even if it is old. Here, I use an old PC with an i7, 7th generation microprocessor. And we are going to have amazing results. We will go through hugging face and diffusion models and it will be quite simple to do. So let's start by taking a look at the documentation which is very complete. We can see that it allows text to image, image to image, and inpating. You will find the link in the description. In this video, we will mainly talk about text to image. First of all, know that you can find the entirety of this code on my git. The link is in the description. We will start by installing Torch and Diffuser via pip commands. This is already done on my computer. Afterwards, we will download the initial model via this code, which will allow us to generate the initial image. Then we will download what will act as a refiner, this part will be responsible for correcting the initial image. I warn you, these modules are quite heavy with around 10 gigabytes. Once done, we will generate our first image. For this, we will only need to import display from IPython display. Then we configure our settings. First prompt, where we will specify what we want to see in our image, like here, a Soviet submarine stranded on Mars. After negative prompt where we specify what we do not want to see. After number inference steps which is the number of diffusion steps used when generating samples with a pre-trained model, the more important this number is, the more detailed the image will be but also it will take more time to generate the image, to have a good image you will have to put it between 30 and 40. We can also specify the number of images per prompt with this parameter. Guidance underscore scale affects how aligned the text prompt and generated image are. A high guidance scale value means the prompt and generated image are closely aligned, so the output is a stricter interpretation of the prompt. A low guidance scale value means the prompt and generated image are more loosely aligned, so the output may be more varied from the prompt. By default it is 7.5. Strength is one of the most important parameters to consider and it'll have a huge impact on your generated image. It determines how much the generated image resembles the initial image. In other words, a higher strength value gives the model more creativity to generate an image that's different from the initial image, a strength value of 1.0 means the initial image is more or less ignored. A lower strength value means the generated image is more similar to the initial image. And finally we have the size of the image and of course the larger it is, the longer the image will take to be generated. We start by creating the initial image and displaying it. And finally we define the refined image. You can see some examples that I generated. Thanks to refined underscore image, we can also import an image and modify it, like this.
Thank you for following me. If I did this tutorial it's because I had a lot of trouble getting there and generative AI didn't help me much. I hope it helped you. As I told you, you can find the entire code on my Git, the link is in the description. And if you want to support me, I invite you to download my Rabbit Raider game, for free from the Play Store. And now I leave you with the Rabbit Raider trailer.